What's up guys, Pixels to Life here and I am back with another tutorial. This week, custom thumbnails. Thumbnails can be interpreted in a lot of different ways, but no matter what you are going for, there are some essential pieces to a good custom thumbnail. When designing a custom thumbnail, there's always three questions that I ask myself in order to determine if a thumbnail is going to be successful or not. First, is it captivating? Will it draw in that casual YouTube browser and make them want to click on my video? Number two, is the text visible even at a very small size? In sub boxes, the thumbnail that you create is very, very small. So you want to ensure that the text is large enough in the original version that whenever it's sized down to a very, very small size for sub boxes, for instance, it is still readable for your viewers. Number three, does it summarize the video? Now, what I mean by that is, can somebody browsing on YouTube tell what my video is going to be about before they even click on it? Now, for me, this is important because I think that it aids in viewer retention. If you just put up a thumbnail that has some scantily clad woman and some high contrast colors and somebody clicks on that video and your video comes up and it and the thumbnail has absolutely nothing to do with the content of the video for me that's a deal breaker for me I'm clicking off that video and and not watching it any further so those are the three questions that I ask myself whenever I'm designing a thumbnail to ensure that it is going to draw viewers in and not drive them away or now that we've defined what we're looking for, here's an example of a successful thumbnail that I've created um, and also the one that we're going to be creating in this tutorial today. Um, so extremely nice, the text, big, bold, easy to read, nice little backdrop image and, uh, and looks professional, catches the eye. So let's get right into making this. Um, we're going to start out with a new canvas that is 1280 by 720 pixels wide. I went ahead and um, already got the background image and um, the emblems surrounding the word two as you saw in the final product. Um, just did a simple Google search for Black Ops 2 uh, wallpapers and Black Ops 2 emblems. So this um, background image is obviously a little bit too large so we're going to drop it down a little bit um, to about 75 percent <clears throat> and we're going to drag it over here just a little bit so that way the text can be the focal point in the center of the canvas here. Now this is a little bit too bold. Uh, there's too much going on in the background here and it will distract from the text if we don't do something with it. So we're going to go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. And I have it set at around four. Um, you don't want to go too light with it um, because it's not going to help that much and also it'll make it look like your image is just poor quality and if you go too much then obviously you can't even see the image so about four is where I like it at um, if you want to try something differently then we uh, then go for it but um, I'm gonna stick with that also um, just to give us a little bit more of a uh, solid canvas here we're gonna create a new layer 
and then hit select all or control A then edit and fill now I have this pattern um, created here and this pattern basically just generates a um, screen of dots um, and it's basically gonna give us like a black background um, or at least it's gonna make the text pop like it's on a on a black background so um, so now that we have our background laid out um, and and exactly the way we want it we're going to uh, go ahead and start with the text now the text you want to choose a bold font um, you can use cursive fonts as well um, but I find that the bold fonts work a little bit better um, and also I am planning on <clears throat> adding text effects so I'm going to create each um, word in the title here um, as a separate layer and the reason for that is is when I add the text effects I want the text effect to only take place over the span of each individual word I don't want the text effect like for instance on this one I'm gonna add a gradient to it and I don't want that gradient to span the entire length of the um, of the title here I want the uh, gradient to go over every individual word here so what I'm doing is I'm varying the text size um, and what this does is it gives it a little variance and a little more visual interest obviously we want everything to be lined up correctly we're gonna go ahead and make a couple moves here get this spaced out properly okay and so what I'm gonna do in the interest of time is um, I've already got the finished text layer created and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these specs um, for this particular text that I'm working with I'm gonna put the specs in the description so you could check out um, what exactly I did to get to this stage in the game um, with this finalized text here let me it's actually underneath all of this so that is our text you see nice big bold just jumping off that background and those black dots really help because you see if I actually remove them it kind of takes away our depth a little bit so definitely want to keep that in there um, and now we're gonna add the banner for the episode so you just take your rectangular tool like this make sure to create a new layer and then I'm gonna switch it over to black get my paint bucket tool and fill that in completely black now we could leave it like that um, because it's not bad but uh, I don't want to put too much emphasis on the episode so I'm actually gonna go over here to our blending mode and um, and I'm gonna put an overlay on it so it kinda gives us this transparency here and also gonna add a little effect to it just to give it a little bit more go into the blending options again go in and put a stroke on this and change the fill type to gradient and now we're gonna change up the gradient we're gonna slide this over to the middle and then create a new color marker and change that to black so now what we've done well not yet because we need to actually make this a horizontal gradient not a vertical gradient so now what we've done is kind of given a tapering effect and also given this uh, banner a little bit of depth again um, depth extremely important for thumbnails because you do have a limited space to work with so we're gonna go ahead and drop this text size down to about one this may be too big no that's good that's good okay so we're gonna fit it right in the banner here 
where it should be. Worry about the singers. All right, so now we've got our text in place. Everything looks good. Now the background is just a little bit too light. I feel we need to kind of cool it off a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient over it. Obviously that's ridiculous um, because it's gone. But when we change the blending mode to overlay, look how much better that is. Just makes the text pop just even more and also makes the background not look so washed out. Um, so now for the finishing touches, uh, we are going to create a new layer. Go up here and select all once again. Edit. This time we're going to go with stroke. 8 pixel width and the color is going to be black so what this has done now is we've just kind of framed our canvas um, and again adds even more pop to the text and the very last thing we're gonna grab the polygonal lasso tool create a new layer and we're gonna draw a triangle from corner to corner here and we are gonna fill that in with white obviously that's a little ridiculous again our trusty blending mode to overlay still a little bit too much so we're gonna drag it down just to where it's barely visible right about there is good so that is how you create a custom thumbnail that is going to draw your viewers in. It's going to catch their eye and in the long run it's going to add views and hopefully subscribers to your channel. Uh, if you guys want to see more variations of this thumbnail tutorial I will be happy to post them. Um, just let me know in the comments below and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.